Okay, I think we're good. Hey Toadette. Look how the game just starts. Cutscene? Man, it's another game with an evil bird. Not sure how I feel about Toadette getting kidnapped. Maybe the game will redeem itself from there. This is a mini game in Super Mario 3D World that was very popular, but it's cool. It's a puzzle game. Oh, this book is cool. It's like a uh, reference to the storybook in Doki Doki Panic, like the levels in Super Mario Bros. 2 USA. Uh, the first gamer we play is Toad. Very cool. I see, so we gotta kill them with that too. I think the level kinda looks like a Lego world. Later, Arcilla. Catch you later. have a toad amiibo. Just 
another wall breaking thing? Could be the way to the exit. Missing a gem. I don't want to finish the level until we find it. Uh oh. Okay. Yes. Yes. I think we pretty much found it by accident. Whoops. <laughs> Damn it, Toad, why can't you jump? Let's try that again. Fall this time. Find a gold mushroom. Didn't destroy the bridge. I see. So each level has a different challenge, which you don't know about until you beat the level. You can come back to it later. Oh, that's cool. Tap the screen. I can raise or lower this. There's two key there. So you also have keys like that in Super Mario World. Hmm, this level is kind of selling the game. So I bet the um, challenge for this one is beat the level only using a certain number of uh, like peace moves. Good course in three touches. Wow. Mushroom 
easy enough to avoid them. More up there, looks. Okay. Let's just take that to right up. Okay. Interesting. Guy. The fact that Shy Guys are the main enemy is another kind of uh, Mario 2 callback. Miss a gem. That's cool. I'll have to come back to finish these. Hey, D Rock, welcome back. Defeated all the enemies? Alright. But we'll come back for the gem. Here's a quick tip. Don't care. Wait, do I need to open the money? We might need to. Oh no, he's... Oh, okay. I see. Saying this is a chapter. Have you seen this game before, D-Rock? Uh oh, that's cool. How does that work? Neat. Double cherry, I guess? Oh man, this is kind of disorienting. <laughs> I don't control them independently. I just have to get one stuck on something, basically. They both respond to the same input. Very neat. <laughs> I'm sure it'll go on sale eventually. It definitely feels like a sale game. Ooh, tough. Clever, clever. Cool. Oh, interesting. I need to have them both. Okay. Dude, that's kind of tough. Okay, now I think they're in sync, but not as in sync as I want them to be. Oh, neat. 
<laughs> he has to go around the balcony there. Actually, is there anything in my balcony? <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. I don't know. Say what you will about this game, it was pretty neat. Apparently I missed a, a gem. A reason to come back to these levels. So I need two people in order to go on this thing. Where the gem is the best. Oh look, there's a little Luigi in there. You see him? Poking his head out the window there. It's kind of cool. Yeah, we got 70 coins. Shy Guy Heights. You're gonna get over being disoriented. Go to the middle of your salad, this guy. Sneak up behind him to choke hold. How does this work? This on the gamepad, by the way. Kind of cool. <laughs> hey, Apex. Captain Toad, treasure check is shit. Hells yeah, Captain Toad. <laughs> getting money, getting paid. I don't have anything to kill those birds though. Look at those fat stacks. One of them died, I didn't see how it happened. this thing some more. Oh, I see. If we had turned it all the way, we could have gone to all the places without having to go and change it multiple times. Neat. Metal Gear 2. Wonder if you can trick the uh, birds into killing the shy guys. Bet you can. One shot, one kill. Oh, 
What's up, dude? Sweet. Thanks, man. Blue Toad with the assist. Last gem. So, like a lot of recent Nintendo games, this game seems to have like a hey, you could probably beat every level, but go ahead and try to do all those secret challenges, like collect all the gems, and sometimes the level will be like you have to kill all the enemies in this level with uh, limited resources. So, if you're looking for the challenge in this game, the hidden challenge, it's in those little secret uh, find all the gems, kill all the enemies, that kind of thing. The game's actually not too too bad. Like, there's a couple levels, of, like the last one we did with the double cherry, where we got two toads, just kind of crazy. Oh. Slip past all the shy guys is what that one's challenge would be. So you have to, like, do maximum stealth. You can't just kill all of them like I did. Let's do what we can before we spin the wheel. Interesting. Cool. We're like upside down. Thanks, man. Oh, so that's the last one. It's like a secret, I guess, that you don't immediately go and turn the wheel. There's one right there. this thing in order to get to it. Aha! There's some coins on the right there. As long as the secret mission wasn't get all the coins, which it very well may have been. Back to the gold mushroom. There we go. What the heck is that? I got some kind of thing. Is it a bonus thing? Super Mario 3D World save data has been detected. That means you can now explore the Sprixy Kingdom as Captain Toad. Oh, so they give you all of the Super Mario 3D World levels, as well as the game's levels. That's kind of cool. But only if you have the Super Mario 3D World game. I think that's neat. Take it. Need to go buy a Toad amiibo so we can have the maximum... Captain Toad Treasure Tracker experience. <laughs> Man. Whoa! FPS! Turnips! Toads don't spin around. Do you have unlimited turnips? I do. There's a limited fire rate, so we don't want to do it stupid. This one? We'll probably kill all the enemies. This is like the uh, rail shooter in 
Final Fantasy 7. Cat stacks. And minecart level. Ah! Holy god. <laughs> FPS toad, man. Like Super Mario 3D World, this game is very pretty. Level design is very cool. Defeat all the pig yeah, so there's the secret mission for that one, I'm gonna kill all the things. Spin wheel bullet build base. How ready for adventure are you? This seems pretty evil, man. Gem. I see a gem. Okay, so now the comp now it's starting to get more complex because now there's multiple spin wheels. Interesting. We have no way to get around the bullet bills. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's neat. We have to turn the bullet bills. I like it. use that to solve the puzzles. The game gonna break that. Nice. Very cool. Big fan. We had the ability to get hit. Makes sense, I guess. Fine. Ground stop this far, dude. This one, too. Hmm. I think this is gonna rotate this whole thing, yeah. Let's do that first. Whoa! Look at those fat sacks! Oh, this game's really cool. <laughs> Who would have known that's what you'd be spinning there? Huh? There's still another gem. a cool level. It's kind of like proof of concept for how sweet this game can get. Oh, there's a gold mushroom in there that I didn't find? Huh. The King of Pyropuff Peak. Some kind of sweet looking dragon. You got, bro. What? Whoa. <laughs> got it. Okay. Hide behind the fence. I'm 
Which is right, get Gather, get the gem. I really like the particle effects in this. Lava levels going up. More fat stacks. There's fat stacks. There's lava falling from the sky, you have to be careful of that. Shows up on the moon. Get it, Toad! Get it! Get it! I agree, D-Rock. <laughs> Bears can be scary, but dragons are always cool. I missed a gem in that level. I don't know where it was, but next time. Hunt for the Great Bird's Lair. It was the great bird that stole Toadette from us. Ooh, cutscene. Dude, look at this. Look how intense this level looks. If you're all tabbed, you should check this out. Like, holy crap. This looks like evil shit's about to happen. There's a long hallway. <laughs> I can't change the camera. See, the graphics are really nice, too. It wasn't that evil. He was just uh, <laughs> in a campfire. It's a cool uh, angle, though. <laughs> See what happens, Toad? He lays around camping. Is there one earlier that we didn't get to see? Hold on. Oh, coins of lure. Oh, I get it. Pick the one I want. I like how it has, like, what are the things that, uh, Toad does? It's Mario Kart. Hey, whoa! Are we gonna use the Zelda community music? That was kind of a cool level. Took me a second to figure out what the hell was going on. And actually, that was the um, rainbow level in Mario 64, not the Zelda music. They're very similar beginnings, though. Oh, this is a cool looking level. I like the whole cube team. So the levels are becoming less linear now. 
Fat stacks. Getting money, getting paid. I like too that none of the levels have been like a time attack. It's like just completely explore the level. That looks just a teeny bit stressful, but I think we'll be okay. Those fat stacks, though. That's what I play this game for, the fat stacks. Oh, jeez. That was really close. <laughs> it's also really close. Tomorrow there might be some Barbie game. The NES. I see. There's still another gem somewhere that we haven't found. Hmm. Might be in that. Okay. How do we go about getting go to fall, maybe? Maybe we could just drop off the ledge and get there. Uh oh. We can go with the star, but I'm sure that the gem's in there. I think that we get done. Can't drop off here. Can we like do one of these? Nope. Get in there. Stand on all the stuff. No, it doesn't. Oh man, the skull mushroom is pretty brutal looking. Alright, well we get to keep our gems, so. Maybe we need to go on the bridge while carrying that guy and maybe the bridge fall or something like that. Aha! Cool, yeah, you have to be heavy enough. That's cool. Glad we died then. There it is. Nice! Also cool. So he doesn't have to care about the Perona plant anymore once he has his star. Here's a quick tip. Press X to zoom in closer on the action while you're playing. Okay. Briny Bowl Swimming Hole. Looks like there's cheap cheeps. Well, that's good. I'd like to have the zoom most of the time, actually. To fall down. Oh, we have to dive to get that. That's good. Cool. To dive to get a lot of the things in this level, it looks like. I like the aesthetic of the aquarium. Just like a shortcut. Next question is how do we get to that one that's over there?
Oh, cool. He's probably using these things. I'm not done just yet. The fact that we can't jump is keeps getting to me. Like, yeah, there's no big deal, right? Nope. False. So here's the red side. So ah, that's some uh, that's some Ocarina of Time shit right there. You have to float up a box, and there's something underneath it. That was what most people got stuck on in the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time. In the 3DS version, they changed it so that the game like made it very clear. Did a little cutscene to show you the area that you reveal when you lift up the box. It's a gold mushroom in there. Oh, I didn't mean to start the level again. I'm back out if I can. Turnip Cannon Jungle. Another Bowser game? Which one am I missing? It's not a game where you play exclusively as Bowser, is there? That I'm forgetting about? Holy crap, I didn't even see him going around the corner there. Oh, neat. Oh, cool. I like how this game plays with the general equation. I thought it was in a launch toad for a second. <laughs> I knew that was something. See that box that was all the way up there? That was really clever. <laughs> I like it. Right, Bowser's Inside Story. Is there you mostly playing as Mario and Luigi? I mean, I know it's about Bowser, but... I like to see just it straight up, like... Go capture the princess. Go be Bowser. I guess I can get those fat stacks. Look at the fat stacks. Get it with the turn up cannon. Got you right. So there's like half of it where you're inside of Bowser as Mario and Luigi, and then there's another half where you play as Bowser. Gotcha. Cleared course using only one shot. Interesting. Bonus level. Do the crazy turnip one again. Get those fat sacks, guys. I bet you can get all of them. 
Yeah, I think a Bowser solo game could fit. They did that Peach game. <laughs> I might do it on stream. It's a pretty good game. It's just kind of offensive. <laughs> it's like you play as Peach and you have to rescue Mario. Super Princess Peach. And her power is that she's a woman, so she's emotional. So she uses her ridiculous emotions to win battles. It's, <laughs> it's kind of offensive. <laughs> She like cries and water like streams out of her eyes, so she uses like plant things. DS game. Okay. I like the varying uh, feels of each of these levels too. Pretty cool. Man, god damn it! Sorry, guys. I hate when they do this shit. <laughs> it made it really hard for me to play. Um, what was it? Uh, Phantom Hourglass <laughs> in public? Can I just like talk into it, maybe? Can I just talk into it? Just there we go. <laughs> Don't make me blow. Oh, I think I see. Yo, yo, yo! There we go. Oh, wait. Let's just take me back? Oh, wait, I see. Yo, yo, yo. See the okay. I think I know what we're gonna do. Do some stairs over here. Nice. Do you like the 3D puzzle component? Fat stacks. Fat stacks. Come on, shy guy. You need your fat stacks. Whew, that was a close call. Ghetto stomp right there. Bad stacks. Yeah, I totally agree, man. A Bowser solo game would be great. Okay, so they turn all the way around. Crap. <laughs> Time that just a little bit. Right. Luigi's gotten some games, but actually, I've never played the Luigi's Mansion games. I hear they're really good. Drop Road Dash. Interesting. Oh, okay, so it's donut blocks. I don't know if that's actually what they're called, but that's always what I've called them. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> 
You know, I think you can run just by pulling the B button. This is interesting. Like, uh... There's, a, there's an actual problem, there's a gap. Um, newbie players of Mario games don't know about holding the run all the time, so they don't do it. So how do you correct for that problem? Do you, like, include a level that requires you to run? Looks like the way this game is solved for it is by, yes, there's a level that requires you to run, but there's also a little panel you can stand on that causes you to run from the stand. Nintendo's been struggling with that whole situation for a long time. Oh shit, you screwed me. Oh man, that's really bad. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, he says, ready for adventure. up this time. No! There's no turning back on these donut blocks. Not like Mario where you can turn around and just jump. If you look back, if you're like... Lot's wife in the Bible. You turn to salt. You fall to your death. Cannot look back. Go with it. How the hell do we get? Oh, maybe we throw something at it. Phew! Oh my God! Ah! <laughs> Need to plan that one out a little bit better. This is almost pretty challenging. <laughs> I like the variety in levels in this game. They were pretty they were pretty creative with their engine, you know. They didn't just say, okay, this is a rotatable puzzle level game. There is a cool FPS rail shooter level really. The correct thing to do is to wait until there's the gap in the middle and then just run for it. Whew. A tough level, man. It's pretty tough. Didn't defeat any paradiddy buds. That would be cool. Beat the level without killing anything. Bizarre Doors of Boo Mansion. Ready for adventure! What's up, Goomba Bro? Chill out, chill out, dude! We're friends! Nice, I like how they teach you that, too. Like, he's chasing you. The only thing that can happen is he'll chase you up to the door. Ooh, and then if I touch this door, it rotates. Cool. Get it? That's neat. I like it. And we have to move it. Oh, yeah, this is a cool level. I 
ऐसे Do we have a way of knowing what's going to go into what? Though? Doesn't look like it. Does this go? Maybe. Ah, there we go. If you've played, um, <laughs> if you've played Nintendo Land, that should be familiar. Oh, that's so satisfying! Nice. <laughs> I think this game should be appreciated just because the level design is is neat. If nothing else, you know. This must have been really, really fun to create. That's if you're like trying to not kill them with your flashlight. Let's see what's the level. Cleared the course in four touches. Okay. Quick tip. You can touch the screen to turn the book's pages one by one. What's gonna be? Blizzard on the Star Express. Looks like it's another boss fight. Ooh, with some kind of like train. It's all very Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> we suplex the train. What's up, buddy? Uh, so uh, what I did is I pressed that glowy thing, because usually those glowy things are things that you can touch on the screen. And it uh, honked the horn. Blew the whistle. And give me one up. Glad that the shy guys don't notice the big light cats in your shadow behind them. How is this gonna work eventually? Maybe it's how we get that. Go back, so I want to go get the gem that's in there. Oh. 
Eat it, sugar. I think this will be our last level and we'll sign off for the night after this. We've been missing most of the gems in this level. Interesting, there's one in there, but how would we get it? There's a lot of Super Mario 2 stuff in it. Look at the mechanic. A good stopping point. Alright folks, let's sign off. <laughs>